we will talk about the human genome project human genome is consisting of 22 autosomes x chromosome plus y chromosome plus m chromosome consisting of 25 dna molecules any genome is equal to total dna sequence of the particular organism in this human genome it is sequenced totally consisting of 3 into 10 to the power of 9 million base pairs and after the sequencing it is necessary to construct a maps <clears throat> generally the maps which is consisting of two types genetic maps and the physical maps in case of the genetic maps there are the rough maps we can use the two alternative forms of the any gene for example in case of the drosophila melanogaster we have the two genes on the second chromosome consisting of normal wings and the vestigial wings on one locus in the form of the two alternative forms of the phenotypes in the other locus of the same chromosome consisting of uh, body color black and the gray color and we can construct a genetic map by taking the crossover percentage by the total progeny we will get the crossover ratio and multiply it with the 100 it gives the map distance in between the two genes so genetic map is units in the form of the centimorgans consisting of 1.2 million base pairs or 12 lakh base pairs so anyhow genetic maps are very rough maps it is possible to construct genetic maps up to the number of chromosomes maybe 23 genetic maps are possible in case of the humans but we need a fine maps that is in the physical maps in addition to that we have the restriction maps by using the restriction enzymes restriction enzymes also not uh, so, uh, solve the problem and further it is replaced with the RFLPs restriction fragment length polymorphism it is earlier used for the disease diagnosis later it is used for the construction of the maps further it is replaced with the physical maps in case of the physical map we can take a distance of 1 lakh nucleotides and we can take the left and right margins of the each 1 lakh nucleotides and we can construct the uh, physical maps in the form of the certain uh, sequence length of the DNA and we have the 30,000 markers in the human genome into 1 lakh it gives rise to 3 into 10 to the power of 9 base pairs or the 3 billion letters with the physical maps we can identify the any region of the chromosome with no time and we can sequence very easily and also the human genome sequenced uh, very quickly done because the four lane method it is replaced with the single lane method by using the capillary electrophoresis and also replacing the radio labels with the fluorescent dyes because of that the human genome sequencing is carried in a very uh, quick fashion in addition to that the earlier human ge genome is sequenced by the hierarchical, <coughs> hierarchical mapping by knowing one lakh fragment in the left and right margin and they are broken into 500 base pairs and it will be sequenced and it will be aligned it will a uh, time taking process it is replaced with the shotgun method of the dna sequencing by breaking one lakh fragments not knowing any left and right margin for example in case of the haemophilus influenza it consisting of 1.8 million base pairs and it is broken into small small fragments and it is sequenced 4x times and aligned and sequenced in a shotgun method very quick fashion this is implemented in case of the 
other organisms like yeast, C. elegans, and Drosophila melanogaster, and later on it is implemented in the human genome also. Like this, uh, the human genome is sequenced very quick fashion, and it is useful in the uh, public domain. Anybody can access the human genome. So altogether, the human genome consisting of earlier it thought that one lakh genes. Later, it is condensed into fifty thousand. After that, thirty-five thousand genes. Now it is considered only twenty-five thousand genes. But number of genes is. 25,000 genes, but gene products may be can equal to uh, an average of four gene products for a single gene, and uh, we can get the one lakh peptides. With this human genome, which is given a thought provocating, and by sequencing other organisms simultaneously, the human genome which is sequenced thoroughly, it may be useful. Further in the analysis of the different kinds of the diseases and other things. Thank you.